But I knew. I knew that she didn't bother me. <laughs> She's still here. Never leaves. She never even pees. I'm not entirely sure she's human. You know, I am not selfish. I am by his side. I, mean, I, I took off all my clothes this morning. That's not selfish. And I'm going in for surgery. Selfish people don't save lives. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? He's going to keep asking till you answer. Yes, I have a boyfriend. Can you look here? If I had a boyfriend, I would definitely not be as angry as you. Mm -hmm. Why are you so angry? Is it because you're frigid? Or he's frigid? Or... Uh, nobody's frigid. My boyfriend's mother called me selfish, okay? Are you selfish? Because you do seem kind of self-obsessed to me. Ben. I'm a surgeon. In order to be a surgeon, a certain amount of self-obsession is necessary. My boyfriend gets that. His mother doesn't. It's her problem. I used to have a boyfriend. When I got the tumor, he understood. He tried to understand. He loved me. But his mother didn't. My offending everyone offended her. And he said he didn't care what his mother thought. But in the end, he did care. Because now it's two years later, and I'm having brain surgery, and only my fat sister Ruth is with me. Oh, Benjamin, that was kind of rude. Sorry. Where's he going? To get laid. Oh, God, you know, there's something wrong in the world when Bambi's getting laid, and I can't get five minutes alone with her. I don't know if it's gonna get any better, Mom. Well, I do, baby. <sighs> I do now. Christina, it's late. Preston needs to sleep. But the thing that makes us human... I'm sorry, Mrs. Burke. I was just coming in to see if either of you needed anything before I went home for the evening. Is what we can control. We're fine. Good night, Preston. Sleep well. Tell me that you open your eyes. Hang in there. Tell me.